hello welcome back to my channel thank you for returning to watch this video seeing as I only have one video prior to this <laughs> but I appreciate you all that have watched that one video but I hope all is well um, let's see what we're gonna talk about today so I posted my last video over a month ago I don't know if, if you did watch it then you would have uh, heard me say how I was just getting over a cold okay so we're gonna go into this video I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump right into it basically I'm jumping right into it <laughs> what this video is about I know you've already read the title so you already know but I'm gonna just jump right into it so because this is a horrible this subject that I'm gonna talk about is horrible I wouldn't wish this on nobody in this world it was it was horrible that's all I can say it was horrible um so yeah in the last video I was saying how I was getting over a cold um, and even after I was getting over that cold I was still just not feeling right like I was just not feeling right um, so then around the day before Thanksgiving what was Thanksgiving was like November 23rd or something like that but whatever the case may be the day before Thanksgiving I started to have like itchy on my back like in my mid back on my on right on my spine okay and but there was nothing there it was just like a tingly tenderness itchy feeling but nothing was there so I was just like whatever going about my day right so then I started getting like little red blotches on the side here like right here on my side and I had some underneath my breast just little red blotches and I still didn't know what they were, but they're itching. Um, I actually was thinking I was allergic to something. Like, maybe it was something that I ate differently. And what's funny is what I had ate differently was pineapple. I hadn't eaten pineapple since I was, like, a really little kid. I haven't eaten pineapple in a long, long time. But I had ate pineapple. And I was talking to my, um, I was talking to my fiancé, and I was telling him, like, the only thing different was I ate pineapple. And he was like, maybe you were allergic to the pineapple. And it's funny that I was saying pineapple because when I look at other people, I've been looking at a lot of people's videos on shingles and people have been, I've been put, seeing a certain person, uh, one person comment on every, on these videos saying to eat pineapple and that it cures you. But I'm thinking that I got it from eating pineapples. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm thinking it's something that I ate, but it's getting worse and worse. And I, I, I'm like, this don't seem like an allergic reaction. So I showed my cousin, my cousin was like, oh my gosh, she's like, when my cousin looked at it, she like jumped back. Like, like I was about to, like whatever I had on my skin was going to jump onto her skin and she was going to die or something like. <laughs> so at this point, this is when she says. I think you have shingles. Shingles. Now, I've seen a commercial for shingles on TV, but there's always, like, old people. So, I've never paid attention to them commercials. Whenever them commercials come on, I get up and go get me a snack, something to drink before my actual TV show come back on. So, when she said shingles, I'm like, shingles? That's for, like, old people. Like, <laughs> no offense to my old people watching this, but I was like, that's for, like, old people. Like, I ain't got no shingles, you know. So she goes, her mom's standing there and she's like, mom, look at, look at her back. I think she has shingles. And my aunt, she's like, um, I don't know. Go ask your grandma. So I go ask my grandma. My grandma's like, it doesn't look like shingles. I don't know. So I'm like, okay. So I get home that night, which is Thanksgiving night. I had my son take a picture of my back and it looked like little blotches. I'm actually going to insert a picture. I'll try to put it like around here somewhere. But it's like little blotches or whatever. But after he showed me that or after my cousin pointed out the word shingles everything just like blew up I'm telling you so Thanksgiving was probably on like a Thursday I went to the emergency room on Saturday because I was in so much pain okay so much pain by the time I got to the emergency room like I couldn't even move like I had to I was hunched over because the the rash went from here around so underneath my boob and then to my spine and it was a big red purple it was horrible I'm gonna insert pictures of that as well of how bad it got and put it somewhere around here 
anyway it was really bad it was itchy it was painful and i already have a nerve issue cidp which gives me neuropathy nerve pain and all that stuff so having shingles caused pain in my nerve and damage to my nerve already having damaged nerves no not a good mix so we get to the emergency room I'm in a wheelchair because I can't walk. I can't stand up straight. Anytime I move, it makes the pain worse. I feel like I'm being stabbed. It's throbbing. It's just pain coming from every which way. Just it's it's not. And you might look at a um, shingles rash and think that that rash is the pain that you. No, that's not just the pain that you have. It is like protruding through your body from that rash so that rash that you're looking at that's right there you'll think a per person who has never had shingles will think oh it just hurts right there no it goes way beyond that and it is very painful so anyway i guess the emergency room and um the nurse the one who's like um admitting me and stuff she goes oh that looks like shingles but i can't diagnose you so you know, don't tell the doctor that I said that, you know, just keep in mind that it looks like, I just want you to know it looks like shingles. So when the doctor first comes in, the doctor looks and the doctor goes, oh yeah, you have shingles. So they come in, they put a lidocaine patch on my back. They come in, well, when she said I had shingles, they left back out and came back with like masks and like gloves. Like, I feel like I should be on quarantine or something. But they came back with lidocaine patches and like regular patches and they like patched me all up and stuff. And they gave me a prescription for... It was called acyclovir, acclovir, acyclovir. I'm gonna have to look for my bottle and I'll put it down. Anyway, so they gave me a bottle of, I think it was called acyclovir. And I had to take that like every three hours for seven days. You know how hard it is to remember to take a pill every three hours? Like I try to take a nap and I have to wake up like this in three hours to take another pill. Um, so we, I did that and darn it. We're gonna have to just uh keep it pushing without the light anyway so i did that and um i i guess that pill is supposed to slow down the or stop the process of like getting the blisters and stuff so i never actually got the popping blisters i just got the really big rash um but it, i didn't get anything for pain i just have to like deal with it and i'm still actually going through the shingles right now i'm not completely healed my rash is gone but my pain is still there um i was in bed like there was no getting up there was no moving i couldn't go to work work forget that um it's horrible like and i would even like trying to take any type of they they prescribed me um ibuprofen does nothing um i had actually got some cbd oil and some cbd drops because i when i tell you i went in the comments of i was watching other people's um videos on shingles and i was going in their comments to see what other people did and there were people saying cbd oil like and cbd ointments and stuff so my dad actually went and got me some oil and he got me like the oil drops for your, your mouth under your tongue and he got me some cream the cream actually worked like the first day that I used it. It'll work for like a couple of minutes. It'll give you like this cooling sensation, but then it'll go away and then you're back in pain. So you have basically you're just pounding it on, pounding it on, pounding it on. And the oil that I drops didn't really do anything for me. Um, but yeah, I had shingles. I'm only 32. So when the nurse saw um, that I had shingles, the nurse says, you're the youngest I've ever seen with shingles. Well, thank you. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's like an accomplishment or what, but I was in pain. I'm still in pain as we speak. Um, and it's like a constant pain. Like it feels like I'm being stabbed constantly other times it feels like my bones my ribs is trying to like push out of my skin like it's very painful it was just only on this side and it's crazy because um even though the rash is like gone like i can still see like uh traces that I, that I, traces that i had a rash but actual like bumps and stuff that's gone 
Um, but I still have the pain. And then I'm starting to get um, that same tingly. I have um, scarring already from my lupus. I have lupus as well. But under here, um, you probably cannot see it yet. But I'm getting the same tingle and the same burn that I had when I got the shingles here. And I have little red blotches, but they're not really, really red. So they're not that red yet to where you can actually see them, but I can see them. Like around here somewhere. But, and then it's also tender here where there are, there's no red blotches here. But that's like for them, like it's coming. And then, so I'm super nervous that I'm going to have shingles on my arm now. And that's not something that I want to go through again, especially not back to back. I do have a low immune system, seeing that I have um, um, lupus and I have CIDP and I take prednisone. And you know, prednisone lowers your immune system. And I also take some other pills that lowers my immune system as well. So I've seen in the comments that once you have shingles, you can, there's people in there in the comments that keep getting it. So I'm really nervous that I'm going to be one of those people praying that I'm not I'm praying this is a one time thing and that whatever I'm feeling under my arm is just a coincidental thing and nothing's gonna happen so yeah like I'm trying to think what else um with it with the pain like I couldn't even wear bras like I can't have one already I can't wear bras even though my even though my rash is gone, I still can't wear a bra on the pain. Me touching it, every time I touch it, I'm like thinking in my mind, like, why did I just do that? Because it, it sends shocks, like painful shocks, and I just keep forgetting. I don't know why I keep patting it, but me even patting it hurts. When I get up off of this floor, it's going to hurt. Anything that I do, it hurts. It's very painful. And um, I've been watching so many videos. I've been googling so many things to try to figure out how to ease the pain and nothing works i got in a i saw somebody say apple cider vinegar i've tried that somebody says to get in the epsom salt bath with apple cider vinegar i tried that the water hurt so like if the part of my body that was submerged in water didn't hurt but the part where the rim like of the water went around my body that hurt and my tub i have a big oval tub but it doesn't come up here when I'm sitting in it so I have to kind of you know lay back and it really only comes here so it's stopping at my rash and so with the line of the water the line of I don't know if I'm explaining this right but the line of the where my body comes out from being submerged around my body that hurt yeah that water hurt so I just I was telling my cousin, I tell her, shingles is the devil, and I feel like whoever gets the shingles should get some kind of um, compensation, because whoever invented this horrible disease puts us in a lot of pain, they make us miss work, we be down for the count, and I feel like I should be getting some compensation for this, because this hurts. This hurts. Like I don't be I can't sleep at night because I can't get comfortable. I can't lay right because it hurts. Like I don't know what really I as much research researching as I have done, I don't even know what I can do to get rid of the nerve pain, seeing that I already have nerve problems and I'm allergic to most of the nerve uh medicines. So like gabapentin and lyrica, they give you that for nerve and I'm allergic so I can't take it so whenever I'm having like neuropathy or any issues with my nerves I have to push through it and so with this it's another thing that's causing my nerves pain I've just been pushing through it missing a lot of work laying in the bed my parents helped me out a lot um I just lay here and I don't do anything um I just barely really started to be able to like get up and walk around and like I didn't drive for a very long time I'm um, barely starting to be able to kind of like drive I can't go long distances you know the longer I um, sit up the more it starts to hurt which is kind of why I'm leaning forward now I'm trying to act like it's there's not a reason but yeah it's because I'm starting to hurt so this video is not gonna be too much longer but um yeah 
I really cannot do anything. Um, just lay in the bed and that's it. So if anybody knows anything that could, that I can do for my nerve pain, um, I'm doing too much <laughs> with me, uh, letting you know, or, you know, that I'm allergic and to a lot of nerve stuff. Just, I don't know, things that I can do to stop the pain that are, the shooting pains that are in the side of my body and my nerves. Um, please comment down below. Give me some ideas. Just give me something I can do. Cause at this point I don't really try anything to just be back at a hundred percent. Um, yeah. So thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I don't know how informative I was of anything I don't think I really was I was just giving you my experience of having shingles um and I hope that you don't get if you're watching this you probably are looking for reasons or explanations on it so you probably have it but I'm hoping that you don't um but yeah thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you all are healthy doing well better than me <laughs> if you could like comment and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss um, I'm gonna try to get more consistent with my videos since I don't have anything else to, you know I don't have anything else to do I haven't been going to work I'm just been in pain so if I can just sit somewhere make some more videos for you guys it's good content out there um, but if you can yeah like comment and subscribe leave a comment below let me know some things I can do for this pain get rid of this pain Thank you so much for watching.